this. Do you see the babies? Oh no, they're coming this way. This is baby turkeys and a mama turkey out foraging around on 95. Like I'm literally on an exit on 95. Look at the turkey. And the little baby turkeys are right there. There's one coming up, look. Oh, how cute, so cute. Get your babies, they're too close to the road. Get those babies, come on, get the babies. Turkeys are not notoriously bright. Oh. Come on, get your babies, kick in. There you go. There you go. They're all in now. They're all down there. You see their little heads popping out. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Oh my God, get your babies. Having a cow. I really can't see. I didn't. Oh, there we go. Yay. Wow, that was pretty. I can't see the little ones they do. I can only see the big ones. But see, those I can't see. And Cozy's crying because she wants to come out. No, Cozy, you can't come out here. It's dangerous. Not really. <laughs> Fourth of July. People are like yelling out front. Are you trying to hide under the pillows? <laughs> You want to get under there? Go on. Get under. Go ahead. <laughs> Look at what she's doing. She's been hiding under the pillow. Because she's like really not happy. <laughs> With these. No. I, yeah, I know you're. Oh, here it comes. Boom. Oh no, another one. I know. It just won't stop. It just won't stop, Mommy. I'm so scared. I don't like it. Here, get under there. Get back under there. That's where she was before. She's never done that before, where she just hides her head under the pillow. Does that work? Did it work? Okay. So, we're sitting in the sun. Sweet baby. And this is what I got today. I really need to blanch them and get them in freezer bags. I have like 10 piles of this inside. So I have to not, I like I hate wasting them. I have tons of peppers in there I gotta cook up and I've got um, green tomatoes. But geez, I mean, so many. I have no idea, like, what to do with all these green tomatoes. I need to weed this shit out. But beyond it, like, just tomato, great big beautiful tomatoes everywhere. They're just all green. Kimmy likes uh, fried green tomatoes. Her daughter makes them for us. I don't know how to make them. Come on, this shit in your way. What a mess. I'm a mess. So, anyway. Hi, guys. I went down the shore last week. I just got back a couple days ago. And uh, I saw Mallory and Jeb. And what the coolest thing happened. Um, there. Okay, Mallory works for this restaurant called the Blue Hen. Mallory works at this restaurant called the Blue Hen. And um, we went there. And they did a tasting menu for us. And, like, I've never had that in my whole life. And I've been a lot of places. Like, I gotta be honest. I've been... I've traveled a lot. And um, so, like, it was this tasting menu where they, like, coddled us. Like, it was so good. <laughs> oh, my God. When I think about all the food, I can't even, like, tell you how much food there was. One of my favorite things was this um, tuna ceviche that they did. And it was with plantain chips and strawberries and then this lemony kind of coconut drizzle oh my god it was so good oh. and then they gave us i can't even remember honestly everything they gave us it was so much food that we were like and right before then like that afternoon and i usually eat like once a day like just one meal a day 
Mm -mm. This was like we went to um, a Taste of Italy first. And if you've never been to a Taste of Italy down Rehoboth or um, there's another one in Lewis. Oh my God, like it's ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous Italian food you've ever had in your life. It's so good. And we had this like, um, Mallory had gotten this pizza earlier that day. And it was like, um, she, it had prosciutto, it had prosciutto and it had, um, oh God, an arugula on it. And it was like this crazy salad pizza. Oh my God, it was so good. And then they gave us bread that was just out of the oven. It was like hot out of the oven. Oh my God. And then um, I had a, a what you would call it, salad, Cabrizio. Oh my God. Like that was ridiculous. All the food. And it was all in one day. Like we couldn't have broken that up, but we didn't know. See, we didn't know what they were gonna do. We just knew they were gonna do something nice. So we didn't know, like we had a great table outside on the back of me. It was so nice, uh, but we didn't realize that it was gonna be a tasting menu and they just kept coming with plates. And like, it was pretty crazy. If you look up the Blue Hen and Rehoboth, their menu, we ate the menu. And then they wanted to do desserts and we were like, oh my God, no, thanks. Holy crap, no. Like, I walked out of there like, it wasn't even like, it was like enchiladas with stuffs in it that you wouldn't expect to be in it. Um, but, so we uh, were very impressed and felt very um, coddled and loved. And so that was really a fun day <laughs> that we didn't know we were getting. And then we would just drive around and do little stuff together. It was fun. I enjoyed it so much. I want to go back. And then I went, and then Eric just happened to be renting a house down the shore. <laughs> anyway, I'm here. It's nice out, but it's been so stormy, so cool. I have rainwater to death. Um, and I'm planning to do a prosperity spell for myself. So um, I would love for you guys to come along with me. I'm going to do it this weekend. I think I got to look in the, in the ephemeris and see where everybody is, where all the planets are and whatnot. So I don't want to do it under anything auspicious, but, uh, or malefic. Do you know what the difference between that? Okay, like some planets are malefic and other planets are benefic. And so a malefic planets are like Saturn, but it doesn't, it sounds like they're malicious. It's like the basis of Malefic. But actually, um, we need Saturn in our lives to hold the bones, like to hold our feet to the ground. It grounds us, because otherwise it would be like all thought floating out of here, all emotion. I'm the bandit. I'm the Jew bitch bandit. Anyway. So I'm going to do a prosperity spell. I, of course, will tape it for you. I haven't been doing any spells. I've been in such a negative space that I'm, I'm trying to get away from that so hard. Like every day I wake up and say, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to breathe in the air. I'm grateful for my dog who, although fucked up, she's still with me. I'm grateful for my children. Oh my God, my children are the best. I am grateful for... A lot of people in my life, a lot, a lot of people that I'm grateful for. And that's like where I am with it. So instead of being sad and upset and dwelling, I'm trying to be positive and I'm trying to come back to you guys. So bear with me. I hope that I can do all this and I'll show you the prosperity at the end of the week. I love you. Bye. I gotta run.